Every photographer wants their images to be instantly recognizable, and FilmPack 7 is the tool to do just that. This is something that I believe is a must-have for every photographer because it's a game changer for the way that you see and take photos, and it creates a unique style that sets your portfolio apart. Film Pack has changed the way I look at my photography. I see things in a different light because of the end result I know I can achieve. In this class, I'm gonna show you how you can use presets to apply genuine reverse engineered film stocks to your images. And then we'll go beyond that. I'll show you how you can create your own unique film stocks and then save those as presets so that you can revisit those on any image in the future. I'm gonna to go to my rendering and I'm gonna choose a color slide film, I think a Provia 400. So we'll take the density down. Yeah, that gives us much more of that golden look. So before and after, we're starting to look like something I really, really like. Film Pack is a tool that will set you apart from the crowd. Once we understand how to use Film Pack, we'll look at different workflows so that we can use it with Lightroom Classic and Photoshop and Photolab. We'll learn all about non-destructive editing and the benefits of working with raw files. So what I want to do is I want to choose a black and white film that gives me a nice soft graduation on her shoulder. That looks great. Now that we're here again, maybe this is a month or two months or a year later, and I look at this image and I think, oh, I want to make some changes to it. Having that preset in Film Pack is gonna help me tremendously. Time Machine has changed the way that I look at my photography because as I'm exploring the past and looking at famous photographers and the work that they've done, the colors that they've created, it gives me ideas. It is an inspiration machine. And so not only am I finishing the photo shoot that I'm working on, but I'm already thinking forward to something that I can do that's new and fresh. If you're looking for a way to create a unique portfolio that sets you apart, this class is for you. So on the 60s, we can look at this. So here's uh, Mick Jagger was shot by uh, Jean-Marie Perrier. And you get all this information about this image and the photographer and why it was taken, why it's significant. And then below that, the important thing is a matching rendering. So if you click on that, it will apply the film and all of the color tonality settings that this image has to the image that you're working on. Part of the creative process is practicing and doing. And so I have included all of the files that I'm using for the demonstrations so you can follow along with me and even some extra files so that you can play with them and create your own unique looks. I'm gonna choose one of these colors. And then again, on the hue slider, I wanna move that till I get it to a color that I like. And that's sort of nice. So it's a, a dark cyan. So let's say before and after, you can see how we've added those two tones, the split toning to that image. You can do that with almost any image, but this one I think really illustrates what's going on. It's really fun. That's the great thing about Film Pack 7. Not only are you creating amazing images, you're learning stuff about other photographers. You're applying different looks and feels. You're creating presets. It's a tool that not only helps you create amazing images, but it's an inspirational tool as well.